We're not playing a high stakes game with the double bass. We really are supporters of what goes on in the ensemble and hopefully in life as well. So I try to look for people who have those kind of qualities. The more students are engaged and are not competitive with each other, help each other out, help each other to get better, can really, really make a difference on your overall approach to everything in life. It's a very tight knit studio. There's eight of us, usually sometimes less. So we rely on each other for a lot. The size is a big factor in that you really get some serious attention from not just Don, but a lot of the faculty. It's nice to have someone whose career is so varied and so vibrant. He played with the Los Angeles Philharmonic. He played in Ottawa. He was in the Metropolitan Opera. He was a founding member of Orpheus. He toured with Barrio and done pretty much anything that a bass player of his generation could do. And so I find that inspiring to think about what should a bass player of my generation do. Many of the students here are more advanced, so you can talk about subtle things, but sometimes there's just general things that need to be addressed. Any string player needs to be technically well-equipped. Musicality without technique is kind of useless. There's a lot of people who go for immediate gratification. Oh, they want to play fast and high, and, but eventually that old stuff wears off, and that doesn't earn you a living in an orchestra either. It's understanding your role and what you need to do that well. When I had my first lesson with Don, he said, well, you do these things very, very well, but now let's focus on the things that I don't do so well. One of the biggest things is the posture. I used to play with my head down, looking down at my fingerboard, but um, now I play more straight up. Those little things, but it helped me a lot. It's refreshing because you get to show up as a package. You spend your undergrad years practicing, and then you come here and it's a professional school. So you get this really nice environment where everyone is really good and the collaborative opportunities are crazy. A lot of our Yale graduates have done very well. Like we have one in the Minnesota Orchestra, one in the Montreal Symphony, one of our graduates who's playing in the Met now. We have one of our graduates, St. Louis Symphony. Some have gone into teaching, some have gone into jazz. There's not one path, there's not one formula. They find a way, you know, there's always a way to make a career out of these things. Coming to Yale was kind of like a double blessing because they have such a great school of music, but at the same time you can attend classes. I took some courses in the drama school and the art school, just things to open your mind. And you know, it's not just about coming here to practice, it's, it's coming for an education. I really wanted to be part of a university and have the opportunity to take some Yale College classes. It's a beautiful place. You get to study with Don for two years for free. <laughs> I think what makes it a great place is that Everybody here is really committed to being good musicians and to getting better. And I think the atmosphere of the place really stimulates that. And you don't always have that in all schools. And here I think there's real sincerity about just learning and getting better. And I think that permeates the whole place.